so I forgot to film my introduction to this uh, vlog but hi I am just gonna make this quick hi there little bookish friends welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name's Kendall and we are getting into a supernatural slash paranormal vlog. So this is pretty much just me coming to say that my goal during this vlog was to read supernatural or paranormal books. This means they can have like spirits or ghosts or demons or you know stuff like that um, mixed in with them. It can be any kind of book. Uh, but I do have three specific ones that I was trying to get through in this video and you'll have to watch to see if I made it through them or if I didn't what I made it through. So the first book that is being attempted is Ghost Camera by Darcy Coates. This one is a reprint um, of her original short story Ghost Camera and that came out in 2014. She did a new cover um, and it came out and she actually decided to add some more short stories and make it a whole like little horror anthology um kind of thing so I'm really excited about it and it just yeah I love Darcy Coates so much already after only reading like one book by her so I am super stoked to get to another one the next one that I'm getting to is Slewfoot by Brom this one is supposed to be like a historical um horror book which I have not read a historical horror but I have watched historical horror movies this one also has some creepy kind of illustrations in it which is kind of cool um but it says that this one's supposed to be creepy crawly and fun clever and imaginative fans of dark fantasy and historical horror will love um so yeah I'm super excited about that it's set in colonial New England, um, and there's like this ancient spirit that is awakened, um, and they call him Slewfoot, which stands for demon or devil. Um, and Abatha is like this outcast, and she's recently widowed, um, so she turns to him for help, and it ends up turning into something that could harm the village but I've never read anything like this but I'm super stoked to get to it and the last book is by an author that I have I have owned so many of her books and I think I've owned four at one point at one point I've unhauled two so I just have two from her now but I've never read her before and I really want to so I'm going to attempt to read Silence for the Dead by Simone St. James this one takes place in a mental asylum and you are following this girl named Kitty who is going to pretend to be a nurse at this asylum and she starts taking help or taking advice from a patient who is definitely not mentally stable but a lot of her books have paranormal elements in them um and some like ghosts as well so I'm excited to see what I think about her writing um I've heard that her writing is very bingeable and this one just sounds really really good um and it says that it's got the classic gothic style to it and it just is calling my name through all the birthday shenanigans I'll be able to get to these books by the end of this video. Okay, I'm about to leave to go eat with some family for my birthday and I am almost ready, but it was my birthday Thursday. It's now the seventh Saturday. Yeah, so my birthday was on the fifth. Now 26 and feeling it. <laughs> no, it's been a really good week, but I am planning on starting this vlog today. So I'm gonna go have lunch with some family and then I think my sister and a friend of hers is gonna go with me afterwards to get my nose pierced. I used to have my nose pierced a while ago on this side and then literally probably like six months or so after I got it pierced, um, COVID came and I got COVID and then I, it was just hurting and I was rubbing it raw from blowing my nose and I got rid of it. So I really want to go get it re-pierced. I think I'm going to do a hoop 
and I'm super excited. So I am really looking forward to it. And then I think Olivia might come and join us with it. I don't know. I'm waiting to hear back from her. She is pretty busy today. So I'm going to see if she has the time to come and then we're going to go swing by Barnes and Noble and look at some stuff. So I'm really excited. Um, and I hope it's, I'm just excited for a good day and I'm going to be reading my first book for this vlog, which is for all things supernatural or paranormal. So ghosts, demons, you know, stuff like that. I don't really get into demon or demonic stuff, but I'm going to be reading this book by an author who is now like a new favorite and new auto by author for me. And that's Ghost Camera by Darcy Coates. This was written in 2014, but they did a reprint in 2024 and it came out not that long ago. And it's a mixture of short stories after the story of Ghost Camera. So I'm going to be reading this and taking it with me. I'm super stoked about it. Um, I first read Darcy Coates this year and I love her and I've gotten a good many of her books now for my birthday and I may end up walking out of Barnes & Noble with another one. And then I'm going to be using this bookmark, which if y'all don't know, Rachel from the Bestie Book Sleeve now does book charms, bookmarks. She does them on these little hooks. This one says stay spooky and it has a little bat on the end. So that's going to be my bookmark for Ghost Camera. But let's go do all of my favorite things this weekend. Haven't updated in a hot minute. Um, got my nose pierced, if you can even see it. It looks probably like so bad. <laughs> it hurt so bad. Um, yeah, it was kind of a traumatic experience. I just haven't updated because it's been a very busy weekend, but all birthday festivities are like done now and I'm finally back into like the routine of things. So my anxiety is starting to go away a little bit, but yeah, it was very, very rough. Liv went with me and she ended up getting her nose pierced as well. She got a stud and I ended up going with a hoop because I've had a hoop before and I just really like it. I feel like it complements my nose pretty well. Um, but y'all, she pierced it and I was like, that hurt. Like, I feel like it hurt worse than the first time I had it done. And she, I felt like something drip and she's like oh yep we're bleeding and I was like oh my gosh not again because when I got my third holds pierced I did bleed um on my right ear or yeah on my right ear I was like I don't I think it was my right one I think I don't remember it was a while it was a while ago when I got that done but um she gave me immediately gave me like paper towels to hold over me and so I did that and it was just cushion blood it was not a good day not a good day with that and then basically the like blood that was on it or whatever like the fact that it was coming out so quickly or so fast or whatever basically pushed the piercing back out and so she had to go back in with it and it hurt so if this one comes out for any reason at all i will not be getting it re-pierced i literally cannot handle it that was bad that was not fun um but i like it and it's feeling a lot better now um after like you know cleaning it and soaking it and all this other stuff so yeah but just wanted to give you guys like a reading update of where i'm at right now <sighs> one thing that i'm trying to do more frequently is read my bible because i just I've always looked at my Bible reading as like a chore and I know that if you like you might look at it as a chore for a little while but if I get in the habit of it it won't feel like a chore anymore um, and there is this thing that I do called the Bible recap if you've never heard of it before it basically gives you um, there's a whole book there's a podcast with it it's you can look it up for free on the podcast like on your iPhone and stuff if you have one and you read a certain amount of chapters each day it's like two or three and then you listen to the podcast or read if you have the book you read the book and it basically goes into the study part of like what you just read what it means and like how you can see God move but one thing I love is that with having with being a Christian and with having a relationship with God, it truly is relationship. And I'm slowly or like I'm I'm quickly learning that with 
having a relationship with God, it's the same as having like a friendship or a relationship with a person. The more that you put in, the more that you're going to get out. And the more that I communicate and the more that I get into God's word and pray and like, you know, actually spend time with him, the closer I'm going to feel to him. So I am just enjoying that and i'm also going to be joining a bible study with a few ladies from my in-person book club and we're going to be doing a study on ephesians so sometime this week i need to read through the book of ephesians and answer just a few questions and then we'll get into like the deep diving and study part of it once we meet up and go through that so i'm excited about that <laughs> Since we're all like a group of girls doing this, somebody in the Bible study is calling it she Ephesians. So that's what we're calling it, she Ephesians. Also for school, um, my English class, this is the last English class I have to take, hallelujah. Um, but apparently, I, they just knew I needed an English class that was going to keep me intrigued. So for this one, we get to read The Midnight Library, which has been on my TBR for the longest time. So I read 60 pages of it tonight. She wanted us to have the first 60 pages read this week. So I read that and took a quiz on it, passed it. Um, I'm using my I Hate It Here bookmark, which I just love. Um, from the Bestie Book Sleeve and I feel like it goes with this book because the Midnight Library has a lot of um, a lot of different stories like this is what your life could have been this is what this is like d looking into different parts of what like parallel lives and so I feel like I hate it here it's very very fitting for the Midnight Library so I read that um so those are like not to do with what I'm trying to read for this vlog, but that's something that I had like going on and that's why it's taken me so long to get to reading. So it's almost 11 o'clock now. Um, last night I read a good portion of Darcy Coates' uh, Death Camera book. I read Death Camera. <laughs> okay, in my defense, they do call it Death Camera at some point. But anyway, I read a good portion of Ghost Camera. The first 100 pages are actually the Ghost Camera story. And then after that, it gets into the short stories. So I read Ghost Camera and I really enjoyed it. I think I gave it like a three, three and a half. And then with the second story, which is called Payment for the Dead, I gave that one a four. I really enjoyed it. It was only 15 pages long, but it was super just creepy i feel like very the setting was very creepy um and i feel like darcy coates did a really good job of just kind of making it unsettling and disturbing and just kind of shocking in a way to me so i really enjoyed it and i didn't know how it was going to go since it was only 15 pages long but that is how i would imagine a horror story being. I decided to switch things up a little bit because I know I said I was going to read Silence for the Dead by um, Simone St. James, which I really, really do want to get to a Simone St. James at some point this year because I don't want to go into the new year not having read one. But I found this book recently. I think it was on Saturday when I went to get my nose pierced. I swung by Barnes & Noble with Liv as well. And I found this book and it is new. It came out September 3rd and it just looks so good and that is welcome to fear street by sarah dojack or vojack i don't know how you say her name but it is super good it says it's new york city summer of 77 in a city on edge and obsessed with a serial killer sylvie stroud is dealing with an entirely different kind of evil so sylvie has this power where if she touches old buildings or if she touches things I think it's yeah I think it's just old buildings she can see like what it's been through what the past is like like the people that have lived there a bunch of different things and it can get really creepy obviously but this one is really cool because it has some illustrations mixed in with it I read the prologue and I'm already intrigued so I'm gonna switch out the Simone St. James book with this one because I'm just really in the mood to get to this and I haven't heard of it and I just want to you know get into a book that I haven't heard about or get into a book that no opinions have been given and I'm just excited for.
So I think I'm going to read this for 30 minutes and then I'm going to go to bed. But tomorrow I'm going to take us to the bookstore because a few books are coming out that I want to get my hands on. Um, so I'm going to be hitting up Barnes and Noble while Tegan is in therapy. So that'll be a fun little treat to myself because I still have some birthday money left over and you know it's got to be spent on books. We have a lot going on this morning. A lot. Um, I did not read at all last night because I just have been very anxious this week and it's just not it. It's not a good time but that's okay. That is okay um, and I'll get more into that later but I'm kind of in a rush right now so I don't know why I'm filming, but we are. Um, but it's finally very cool outside. And so I'm bringing my folklore card again that my best friends got me for my birthday. Literally love them so much for the hat. And I also have ghost camera with me. I have to take my sister for an MRI appointment this morning um, because she is just, you know, not wanting to go by herself, which I completely understand. And my mom already had a different appointment this morning, so she couldn't take her, and I offered to. So I am packing up my stuff for the day. I'm gonna take that, because it'll probably be like an hour during her MRI where I won't have anything to do. And I'm about to make this Flapjack Power Cup. Um, this is Kodiak, and they are, a very much like a protein centered um company and this is chocolate peanut butter i don't know it looks good it sounds good and all you have to do is add water or milk milk if you want extra protein in it and microwave it so we're about to do this and then hit the road so i feel like you know when it's been one of those days when you end up coming out of your job with your hair up like my hair doesn't even know what it's trying to do but we had to pull this sucker up because yeah it's it's raining and so it's very wet outside right now um i'm leaving early though which is good i've already like used up all my hours um for the week so that's kind of nice i have been reading more of ghost camera today i'm feeling a lot better today yesterday i was really anxious i think i've just been anxious this week i didn't mention it but when i was during my birthday the day of my birthday i think i just had like nerves and i ate something bad and i got sick and so i just was when i get sick like i'm one of those people that do not like the words throw up don't like that um, because it just makes me anxious like I have a fear of it and I hate like I will do everything in my power not to get sick like that but it just didn't work so I was just anxious and I there was like so much going on and I don't think I'm used to that much happening in a week or weekend and so I think it just kind of threw me off and I've just been kind of an anxious wreck but I am feeling a lot better today, feeling a lot more like myself, and just being really happy that that is the case. But we're going to go home um, and cook some dinner. My dad, like, pre-made these chicken wings, and I'm going to try and make this garlic, um, like, butter sauce. I don't know. It sounds really good. It's got like Italian seasoning in it and garlic, like minced garlic. It's just, it sounds really good. So we're going to have that um, tonight for supper. And I am excited to go home and get that started. And yeah, so I'm going to do that. And then my sister said she needs some help with some homework. And there's a few things that I want to get done for homework as well. Um, which I'll probably be doing most of my stuff tomorrow because I have the day off and it'll just be easier. But I'm hoping to get some reading done tonight. I do have book club tomorrow. And um, I haven't even started the book. We are supposed to be reading A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, which if y'all know was on my TBR for last month and I haven't gotten to it yet. So this vlog is just kind of transforming from a paranormal slash supernatural vlog to just reading on my TBR. 
and that's not a bad thing sometimes that's just how it goes i'm a mood reader too so that's big so basically we're going to try and see how quickly i can get through this book and we're going to see if i can finish it by tomorrow night before book club because we're going to meet at book club and we're gonna have a lot of fun and have snacks and drinks and i think somebody's bringing some nice wine somebody else is bringing some popcorn somebody else is bringing like some sweets so we're gonna be stacked and we're gonna watch the first episode at least of a good girl's guide to murder together and talk about it so i'm super super stoked it's gonna be a lot of fun and i'm just getting ready for that but the goal will be to get home finish ghost camera tonight because i'm right under and two hours left of it and the stories go by super fast so i feel like it will be no problem and then we're going to try and start a good girl's guide to murder and get into it as far as we possibly can so fingers crossed that that goes well Okay, I know this is not the best angle, but I completely forgot to even close out this vlog. It's just been kind of a hit and miss kind of thing, but I still want to put it up because I feel like I put a lot of effort into it and put in, like, wanting to read and, you know, all of that. But I just wanted to share a few things that I got in the mail. Um, the first is for my Patreon, I got this brood layer book club shirt which i'll put up the design of what it is but this is what the front of it looks like it's our the brood layer book club is the name of our patreon book club and we read every month and discuss the following month um a certain book i always give three choices and they tend to be three different genres and different um, types of books so I hope that if you do want to join you do um, but any merch is available even to free members so if you do want to join my patreon for free that is one thing that you will be able to divulge in is some merch for yourself um, so I just had to share that but basically <laughs> To recap what I read for this vlog, it was supposed to be a supernatural paranormal vlog and it kind of did not turn into that necessarily. I was like, why am I forcing myself to read books that I'm not in the mood to read right now? And I just didn't want to do that. So I was also, I've been experiencing a lot of anxiety this month and it's just not been the best month, but that's okay. I feel like I have good months and bad months and this just happens to be one of my off months and again that's fine that's perfectly fine we are okay um but as you saw I read ghost camera I loved all of the stories that were on there and I had a such a fun time there are a total of nine stories in the book I thought going into it that I was getting four or five short stories but I ended up getting more than I thought the first story is called ghost camera and I gave that one three stars I did a separate rating system for all of the short stories and then based on what I gave those I kind of decided my rating for the book overall um, the second one was called Payment for the Dead, which I gave four stars. Death Birds, I gave three stars. The House on Boxwood Lane, I gave three stars. The Run to Broken Ridge Lighthouse, I gave four stars. Remains, I gave two stars. Untamed Things, I gave five stars. Cathedral, I gave three stars. And A Box of Tapes, I gave five stars. So, I had a lot of fours um, a lot of threes and a few fives and so I just decided to kind of round it all up and gave it a four star um, I really enjoyed it there were a few that were just okay but I still had a good time reading it overall and really enjoyed it again another hit and run hit and run <laughs> oh another home run <laughs> with Darcy Coates. Good Lord, what is wrong with me? So I literally had the best time with that. And then instead of reading a book um, that was on my TBR, which was Slewfoot and Silence for the Dead, I decided to read Good Girl's Guide for Murder. I was just kind of in the mood for something a little lighter, but I thought YA thriller was kind of the way to go. Plus it was for a book club that I was also participating in later on in this month. Um, so I did read that one. I had a really good time with it. Um, I can't decide on my actual rating for that one. 
I feel like I should give it five stars because I had the best time with it. I sped through that book so fast. I just never wanted to put it down. I loved the characters and it's just wild to me because like I started this book a few years ago and put it down because I couldn't get into it. But then coming back, I was like, am I about to give this five stars for real? Like it's just really good. And so I think I'm going to settle on five stars. So a five star and a four star read is pretty good to me. But I wanted to show you guys a few things that I got in the mail this week to kind of wrap up this video. Um, so first off, when I left y'all, I was going book shopping. Um, and I was just like combing through books, you know, seeing what I wanted. I didn't, there were a few like newer releases that I was looking for. The two first, the two major ones I was looking for that I did not even purchase were Lucy on Dying by Kirsten White. I just still don't know. I haven't read a Kirsten White, so I don't know if she's for me. I do own The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein that I want to get to. So if I have it, if I read that and decide I like her writing style, I may give want a chance but I just am unsure about Lucy Undying. It sounds so similar to A Dowry of Blood which I only gave three stars which is good but I just was not there for a lot of it like I didn't love all of it and that's how I feel like I would think about Lucy Undying and I'm just not willing to purchase a book right now if I'm not going to absolutely love it or like at least enjoy it for the most part. Um, and the other one was Us in Ruins by Rachel Moore. This author first wrote a book that came out last year called The Library of Shadows and it was pretty good. I gave it four stars. Um, I think it's more of like a three and a half four star read for me. I really liked it. Her writing is definitely debut-ish. Like I definitely think she has room to like improve her writing but I still enjoyed the story. But from what I'm been hearing Us in Ruins is even better than A Library of Shadows so I really think that I might look for that one at some point but they did not have it at the Barnes and Noble that I was at anyway so I couldn't have got it even if I wanted to buy it. But there were three books that I walked out with and that the first one is The Cottage Around the Corner by D.L. Soria. I first saw this one because the author D.L. Soria is coming to a bookstore near me like a local independent bookstore to do a talk and sign books um, and this one just sounds absolutely cute I love how the spine is so floral like and this is just purple but you can see the flowers and like mushrooms and all that stuff around it um, but this says a feisty witch and a handsome mage must put their heated business rivalry aside to save their small town from supernatural forces um, and if you think you've heard of D.L. Soria before, she did write Thief, Liar, Lady. Um, but this one is a charming contemporary fantasy rom-com. It just sounds really cute. And I was looking through it, you know, to see if it's something that I would purchase. Um, and literally the first uh, sentence was like, yep, I think, uh, I think I want to read this. It says, I was being stalked by an enchanted broom. So I'm really excited to get into this one. I think this will be like a good November or December, like end of the year read. The next book I bought really wasn't on my radar until a, I heard that a lot of people were talking about it. And that is The Monstrous Kind by Lydia Gregovich. Gregovich? Um, but first off, Erin A. Craig and Ava Reed have blurbed this, calling this a gorgeously evocative gothic fantasy and saying that this world, her world building is decadent and nightmarish. So I can always add another <laughs> gothic fantasy to my list of wanting to read. And this just is calling my name. It's calling my name. And there have been nothing but good reviews. So I cannot wait to get to this one again, hopefully towards the end of the year. And then the last book that I actually didn't know about until I saw an account that I follow on Bookstagram called Book Skywalker. I will leave her linked below. She reads a lot of like thrillers and a lot of spooky horror books and I just get most of my horror book recs or like good thriller book recs from her. And so I really wanted to go on there and see um, what she had like hauled recently and this one she had recently gone in and I saw it the next day when I went to go um, book shopping and I was like I'm gonna take a chance on it and get it and I really want to get to this one 
in October. And that is We Came to Welcome You by Vincent Tirado. I don't know if this is their, um, okay, it's not their debut. Their debut is a young adult novel called Burn Down, Rise Up. Um, and then they have another one called We Don't Swim Here, which I feel like I've heard of that one. Um, but yeah, anyway, this just sounds so cool. It just says Dream House, Nightmarish Neighbors, a novel of suburban horror. So I'm assuming we're going to have like a suburban domestic thriller meets horror, which I know that Grady Hendrix has done. And this book seems like it could be another kind of author who was going towards like a Grady Hendrix horror type of book. Um, and it just sounds so good. It says, the other black girl meets Midsommar in the spine-chilling, propulsive psychological adult debut from highly acclaimed author Vincent Tirado, in which a married couple moves into a gated community that slowly creeps into a pervasive dread akin to the social horror of Jordan Peele and Lovecraft Country. We Came to Welcome You cleverly uses the uncanny to illuminate the cultish, shocking nature of systemic racism. Y'all, y'all don't know how excited I am for this book. A psychological chiller is what Eric LaRocca calls it. So, you mentioned Midsommar, The Other Black Girl, and also Jordan Peele movies, and I'm sold. So, I will be picking this one up as soon as possible. So, the next thing that I want to show you guys, I was so kindly sent... Um, a candle from Novel Wicks. If you have never shopped at Novel Wicks before, you're missing out. I have so many Novel Wicks candles. I always keep one on my desk. I have the audiobooks one that is burning right now, which smells like glowing amber. One thing I love about these candles is they have a glitter on the top and they just burn for forever. And the smells are literally heavenly. Like this just smells like fall in a candle audiobooks does and i just love it and murphy works so hard she is a small business owner she does these candles she does so many different launches of different genres of different fandoms and she just does them so well i literally have not found another candle company bookish candle company that i trust with my candles more than i have with novel wicks so um i was going to show you guys what she sent me so I thought it was so cute because when you open it up, we have little pumpkins that she's put in here, some little pine cones, and some leaves, which are so cute, and just little, like, decorations, which you would get a subscription box just like this if you subscribe to her, um her company you can do a subscription candle box service and you will get a candle in every month and she also did send me this so if you want your own candles you can use code kindle 10 at checkout for a discount and she sent me the candle vampires which just look how cool like are you kidding and it's red. She knew what she was doing when she put this candle out. Um, and it says that it smells like cranberry apple marmalade. And of course, when you open it, you get all of the red sparkles, which just complete your candle. And this one smells so good. It definitely, the cranberry and the apple are coming through. And I just can't wait to dive into, like, a horror book, especially one that involves vampires and like this, because that's just going to be a whole mood. She has a few launch dates that have come out. Um, she did some with uh, Fall and Spooky and Fall TV shows is one that she recently did. So I would definitely check out her website. And she is doing a launch on the 26th of September, which is some more spooky candles. So if you missed out on the candles from the spooky drop on the 12th, you can get more spooky um, candles on the 26th. So thank you, Murphy, for my candle. Another thing that I wanted to share with you guys is the Aardvark book club box. I love Aardvark book club. First off, they know what they're doing with this packaging because I feel like it definitely draws your attention to it and I just love it so much. But I love Aardvark. I feel like they have such a wide range and variety of books. They always have such diverse reads and they're all different genres and it just... I love, love when the first of the month rolls around and I get to pick out 
what books I want. Um, and if you want to try out Aardvark Book Club, you can use my code Kindle, um, just Kindle, just my name, um, and you get your first box for $4 and you get free shipping on it as well. So definitely check that out. Um, but I went ahead and the books that I got for this month um, were two that I was super, super stoked about. One of them is, I can't, I don't know if this, the one of them is a young adult or an adult book. I really cannot remember. Um, but they put a card with all of the September reads on there. Um, so some of the ones that they had were um, Color Television, um, Red River Road, How to Hide in Plain Sight, A Dark and Drowning Tide, and then what the other two are the books that I got. They also send these cute little bookmarks each time, which I love the little aardvark symbol. But the first book that I got was Lady Macbeth by Ava Reed. This is supposed to be like a dark gothic retelling of Macbeth but from Lady Macbeth's perspective and I've heard such good things about this book. I also love how Aardvark always makes their um, symbol on it very subtle and it always matches the book as well and obviously it had to be in pink because it's just gorgeous and the way that they feel on their regular um, hardbacks it's just like this buttery, soft feeling. I'm obsessed with them. And then they did something special with this next read, which I have already personally read an arc of, and that is So Thirsty by Rachel Harrison. I gave this one four stars. I really enjoyed it. At first, I felt like I was really disturbed and didn't really enjoy it as much, but I have not stopped thinking about this book since I read it. And the best thing about this one is that if you got an aardvark box with Rachel Harrison's So Thirsty in it, it was signed by her which is super cool um so yeah definitely check out aardvark because they are so worth buying from and then the last thing that i wanted to show you guys is i am subscribed to owl crate's adult fantasy box so i guess that um answers our question about one of these books but i'm subscribed to their adult book box and their september book club pick was lady Macbeth. and look at how gorgeous this cover is is the gold foiling is something I'm completely obsessed with and then of course you have the gorgeous spine which is just too much to handle like how freaking pretty it is I can't and then you have the reversible dust jacket which again just gorgeous I feel like you can't go wrong with either having this side or or the other side as the dust jacket. They're just beautiful. Are we even shocked that my camera battery died? No. And I had to film this a little bit later. So anyway, as I was saying, I think both sides of these dust jackets are gorgeous and I will use either or whenever. Um, and then the naked hardcover itself is so pretty it's got this dragon and silver foiling i'm obsessed with how cute this looks and then the back has another quote and some more silver foiling with her crown and headpiece and then the inside just stunning just absolutely stunning and then the back side looks like that this may be my new favorite edition of a book that I own. It's just so pretty. I am obsessed. And I'm even more obsessed because this book won my Patreon book club pick for this month of September. And we're discussing it in October. So it makes me want to pick it up even more now. But anyway, thanks for sticking around. Even though this was kind of like a chaotic vlog, I didn't want to just like give up on it just because of anxiety. I've done vlogs in the past where anxiety has kind of gotten in the way of reading or me doing stuff on booktube and I have learned to just be vulnerable about it and to just kind of put it out there because I know other people can relate and it helps me to create a sense of normalcy when I talk about it and when I just can't continue doing what I have been doing so thank you guys so much for sticking around and understanding and i appreciate everybody who watches this video 
and for all of you who are subscribed and that just stick around and have supported me for such a long time and I will see you guys in my next video.